Hello, welcome back to To Be A Legend. Well, we're not having a good time. We're in a bit of a bad run. And also, the chairman's trying to sell the club again. So we've also got a transfer embargo. Even though we're not in uh, a transfer window, we've still got that little bit of uncertainty going on. Hope you're going to enjoy today's episode. Welcome to episode 43 of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, uh, we have games against Nottingham Forest in the Championship and against Swansea also in the Championship. And, um, well, um, how have we been doing since you were last with us? Not well. Not well. Um, as you'll see, we are down in 11th place, I think, which is where we finished last season on 20 points. Played 13 games. Uh, we're below the two points for a game scenario, which is uh, where I like to be. And as you'll see, we started off quite well. First, 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 dropped down to fourth, then back up to third, and then we've sort of like petered away. And, uh, well, uh, we were eighth. Uh, some games have been going on uh, and we've dropped down to 11th albeit if we win this game and score a couple of goals we could actually be back up into the playoff spots um, but uh, it's a difficult competition to win um, and at one point looked as if we were doing quite well only three games three wins away from Brighton who are in top place and if we win today actually only six points away from them so it's not all but it's just a lot of clubs all doing very similar sort of things in this uh, in this particular league um, yeah so uh, since you were last with us uh, Peterborough and Sunderland were the last games that uh, you were with us um, and uh, as you will see, we've lost 2-0 to Birmingham, 2-1 uh, to Huddersfield, a goal from Daniel Apaya, an unusual goal from Daniel Apaya, doesn't score many uh, recent times, uh, a 0-0 nil -nil draw against Blackburn, and a 3-2 loss against Reading amongst uh, the, the games that uh, we haven't been uh, performing in. And the annoying thing is, I think in most of these games, if we go back and have a quick look, we've thrown most of them away. Uh, not this one. We uh, actually got back in that game and then uh, Falco was our downfall. Um, always seems to be one player as well. Um, where are we? Uh, this one, Reading game, as you will see. We uh, we started off, uh, and changed the formation a little bit. We've gone to uh, a 4-2-2-2 or, or a 4-2-4, whichever um, you, you think. Um, Idaho getting the goal after two minutes. Got back into the game through Bernard um, from a headed corner. And then uh, Sunsuk Bell give us the lead after 40 minutes. Um, and then threw it away. 76 minutes and 90.4 um, there, which was uh, really, really ghouling. Um, but then against uh, Luton Town, we did actually manage to get ourselves a win. Um, they had 14 shots, six of which were on target. We had nine and four their XG was better than us, possession better than us, but we actually won out on that one a goal after 74 uh, minutes from Hunt. Again, playing this 4-2-4 formation. And uh, we will actually see... Oh, sorry. Um, let's see, Patterson back to Darbo. Darbo with the cross in, and Hunt launched the ball into the back of the net. So... Uh, we did all right there. Um, so, realistically, we need a couple of wins now to, to straighten ourselves out a little bit. And maybe we've uh, we've got a bit of a tie turn here um, in uh, in our poor run, as you can see. Um, really good start to the season. Three games on the bounce. Um, Barnsley, Bristol City, Ipswich Town. Um, and then... Uh, the EFL Cup, uh, well, in fact, in the Championship, first four games we won, and then uh, we started to go a little bit wonky after that. 
and uh, not managed to get it back on the rails properly yet but we have beaten Sunderland and Luton by the odd goal right so uh, table wise we've already had a quick look at that let's um, have a proper look now um, as you'll see Brighton are top 29 points and Watford tucked in right behind them um, Watford going really, really well. Birmingham, Fulham, Reading, Burnley. Knott's Forest are our first opponents today. Cardiff, Swansea also above us. Uh, Barnsley and Sheffield Wednesday. We're down in 11th place. Uh, those teams have played, apart from uh, Nottingham Forest. So, say we could leapfrog them if we can do the right business. Well, with any more to do, let's go through to our first game of the episode. It's game against Nottingham Forest. And here is the team for our first game against uh, Nottingham Forest today. And the team that we are playing is McCrory, is back in goal. Branneth, Waite, Hap, uh, Bernard and Devine are our defensive line. Low Everton plays as the Mazala and Hunt as the ball-winning midfielder. Um, Is he better as a central midfielder? This is his preferred role. Um, there we go. Um, oh, a Sunset Bell and Thompson as our attacking midfielder. A Pyre and Slattery are up front. Slattery as the other striker. Why? Why would Slattery play in that position? I think because I've changed the formation slightly yeah let's um let's just have a quid of a change around here there we go that's a bit better so reconfigure that defense stays the same low Everton and Hunt in midfield Thompson and Apaya are attacking midfield Patterson and Sunsuk Bell are our attackers Wildsmith Dabo Slattery Lancaster me Clarkson and Barnes all on the bench for this one been good of me to change the uh, formation before I started that process of course as I say we do need a win today if we can get it and nothing to lose here we know how good we are let's show everyone else what we're capable of and uh, not really had the right focus but I'm not going to play about with it uh, this is obviously a televised match unbeaten five matches against Nottingham Forest how much red does that give your team um, It doesn't mean a great deal. Players change, managers change, yep. Yeah. Uh, you're 20th in the EFL Champions form after poor recent run. Can you turn things around? Um, we need to find some form quickly. This is a good chance for us to do so. And uh, at the city ground, Nottingham Forest have only won two of their last five. So they're in a little bit of a, a, a sort of lump, a bit like us. We've only won one in the last five. Both having lost three of the last five. And uh, there we are down in the 11th place. Needing. And what we are good at is getting our noses in front. The problem is, well, it seems to the problem we have is staying there. Right, throw in from Brathenweight. He's tried to get that through to Thompson, hasn't got it. They've broken away with the ball. And it's just five minutes on the clock. Need to make sure we don't give away a goal here. A tackle gone in from Divine, and that's gone wide. Thankfully, Divine not coming away with the ball, which is always a worry. Uh, long ball forward, and we lose now on the header. That looked awfully like offside, but they still have the ball inside the area. Pushed it to the outside of the area, and shot coming in. What can you say? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So we go a goal behind after seven minutes. Bernard and Brathenweight both picking up yellow cards. Frustration creeping in yet again. 
and we need to avoid yellow cards if we can. They have a throw in on that far side. We can't go two down. We really can't afford to go two down. And nearly half an hour gone. We have a throw in on the far side. Brathenweight to Low Everton. Low Everton inside to Brathenweight to Sunset Bell. Thompson, Patterson. And that's hit the woodwork. But it's come back in. A bit of work there. And they come away with the ball. They have a player inside, but well tackled by Brathenweight doing his job as defensive marshal. Long ball forward. Over the top, Brathenweight with a header down, but he's headed it too hard. And Thompson not responding to it. And we do need to bring in some players in the transfer window, assuming we haven't got an embargo still on us. Cut out by Hap. Bernard. We definitely need to do something. I'm not quite sure where, though. Um, we have defend good defenders, but just don't seem to be able to stop these balls and seem to be having the, the powerhouse to do it. Bernard forward. And that's gone over the top. Campbell's got there, and he's just put that wide. That looked, for love of me, it was going in. And uh, Bernard giving that away. Campbell hitting it on the volley and just putting it wide beating the goalkeeper right time to drop in a bit of encouragement to the team to try and get back in this if we can it has cheered them up a little bit Divine with a free kick finds Low Everton to Hunt to Patterson Patterson all the way back for Bernard Bernard now uh, he's gone all the way back to the goalkeeper who's come out of his area, McCrory to Hap Hap forward and giving the ball away and they attack again and he's got it inside to Campbell Campbell's found the night and 38 minutes gone, we are two goals down and not looking to have had anything in the pot to get back in this. And we have well and truly lost our way and I'm not sure how we get ourselves back in. Um, McCrory we've changed the goalkeepers around we've done everything we possibly can to try and get ourselves back into winning position and we're not doing it are we pre even to halfway through the first half and perhaps uh, really should have picked it up a bit there but then they've gone up a gear and uh, six shots three on target but our XG isn't with it. Right, I will have a chat with the team. We will be back for the second half imminently. And you rejoin us for the second half. We have made one change at half time. Uh, we've changed formation. We've gone uh, back to the uh, uh, 4 2 3 1. And uh, we've also uh, brought Slattery on for Patterson. Patterson not having a particularly good game as Nottingham Forest get us underway for the second half with a free kick as well 3-0 down there is no way back McCrory punches that clear and it's come back down and oof, just wide I thought that was good night nurse and we have to find a way back in Sunset Bell one yellow card away I'm not interested the ball right I have got to remove that team instruction of shoot on site I don't think that's doing us any favours um, Low Everton he's tired 
Right, I'm going to ignore that for a moment, albeit we are on 63 minutes. Maybe it is time to make that change then. Low Everton for Clarkson. Swansea winning 3 0 at Huddersfield. Well, not at Huddersfield, but against Huddersfield. Brandethway with the throw in into the area, but it's cleared upfield. But Divine picks it up, gets it forward. Viner, Zach Viner clears it with the attack now forward. Bernard with the tackle, lovely tackle, slattery with a rubbish pass. And that is also our downfall. We give a lot of those balls away. Oh, and he's just let the player go around him. Luckily, who was that? That was Branathwaite. Um, and a pyre with the ball forward. Sunset Bell comes forward now. Can he get the cross in? Need a cross into the area. And it's gone out for a corner. And they make a substitution. Thompson with this corner. Ball in. And goalkeeper claims it. Or anybody could get there. Oh, that's going down as a clear cut chance. I can see Lolly Brathenweight just let him go around the outside of him and uh, really poor defending, I would say. But uh, it was an opportunity from the goal kick. And Brandethwaite is tired. He will be our final change, I'm thinking. Hunt, maybe not having such a good game. Ben Me coming on for Brandethwaite. I'm tempted to make Hunt the Mazzala and change Clarkson to central midfielder on attack and just see if that does anything for us. Ben Mee comes on for Brathenweight. Nothing doing and we're going to lose this game. Unless some miracle happens. Me to Clarkson. Back to me. Me to Thompson. I haven't really seen a lot of me, me since he's joined us. Uh, he had a couple of pre-season games that were quite uh, interesting. Slattery puts that out wide to Sunset Bill. Heads it back into Hunt. A pyre who hasn't been scoring, but uh, he has scored now. And I'm not quite sure. I think that was a defender uh, hitting that against him, to be fair. Sunset Bell, Hunt, Apaya, Defenders, then, yeah, and it's come back off of Apaya. They all count. Gets us back in, and uh, we could actually, I guess, up the ante a little bit. Let's go attacking. Got nothing to lose, really, as it stands. They do have a free kick, and it could all be over at the end of this. Or... Bernard tidies up in defence, gets it forward, but nobody there. Again, poor pass. This is where we need to be keeping it on the ground and passing it around. And they're doing very nicely, passing this ball around. They get this into the area. We're in trouble, and they have. And there it is. Lolly gets number three for them, and it's game over. 88 minutes on the clock and uh, this is almost a reverse of last season when we joined them they were languishing in the bottom we managed to pull them up this season it's all going a little bit the other way and a uh, fluky goal from a pyre just give us a moment of hope but uh, turns out to be no more than a consolation goal and once again disappointing and 
demotivated the team as well. So we're starting to lose the team. Um, So, still down in 11th place, but the other team's coming up behind us now. We're going to drop down that table really, really quickly if we continue to lose. And, uh, well, I'm not sure what we can do. I tried all sorts of things. And Hap, he's going to get banned after collecting five yellow cards um, our next game is a week away against Swansea we will be back for that game so before we look at the teams to play in our second match of the uh, episode against Swansea uh, some stuff has been going on I did tell you that we uh, had a transfer embargo because uh, they were looking to sell the club. Um, consortium led by Dover based investor Reese Robinson successfully completed takeover of Sheffield Wednesday, replacing former chairman Gifon Chanzari. Um, the turmoil is unlikely to be over at Hillsborough, however, with rumours that new chairman will want to replace the current manager, Mark Offside. So it could be that we're not here for much longer, guys and girls. We might make a year if we're lucky. Um, according to BBC Radio Sheffield, Robinson has had strong business links with Serbia in the past and is believed to want to install Milos Veles Veselinovic, I'll get that right, as the new Sheffield Wednesday boss. Um, so he is currently unemployed. He is Serbian and he's looking to take my job away from me. Personal message from uh, the board is, I want to thank you for your patience during the undoubtedly uh, been stressful time for everyone involved in the club. Um, 13 and a half million has been pumped into the coffers and a new transfer budget has been calculated. Doesn't look much different to what we had, to be fair. Um, it's always my intention to appoint a new manager following the takeover and a decision on your future will be taken shortly. So I think we could possibly be playing our last game on camera anyway um with sheffield wednesday we might uh, next episode be looking for a new job who knows right let's have a look at the team that's going to play in this particular match against swansea and this is the team that we are putting out against swansea city uh maybe a winning or losing final game for Swansea, maybe we'll still be managing Swansea. Who knows? Uh, McCrory in goal, Divine, Brathenwaite, Bernard, and Dabo are our defence. Low Everton and Hunt uh, continue in midfield with Thompson and Clarkson are attacking midfielders with Apaya and Sunset Bell up front. Wildsmith, Me, Slattery, Patterson, Cesse, Skews, and Lancaster are on the bench today. Right, uh, without anything else happening I'm just checking that we've got that right I think so right we'll leave it at that and go through to the game can we win this game potentially our last game with Sheffield Wednesday who knows I mean I, though we will be sacked will be sacked in in strange circumstances um i suppose we haven't been playing particularly well but um hands on the hips hands in pockets hands together hands in pockets uh expect to see a much better performance from you today individuals a pyre faith in you get out there and make a difference he's not really interested pump fists uh, faith in you get out there and make a difference no Okay then, please yourself. The Liberty Stadium for this one. And we are underway. I do 
divine taking a knock indicating he wants to come off he um, Ben me coming on for him Only had one shot, none of which are on target. They've had a few shots, again, nothing on target as yet. Is this about to change? Clarkson gets the ball, Sunset Bell, playing in our really dark thing, and I'd have gone down the other side of him, Sunset Bell. We do get a corner, and our first highlight of the game, Thompson comes in, it's well, well clear. Not quite sure what happened there. I think it might have been an offside. Hence why we've got... Oh no, this is a rerun of the incident. And uh, goalkeeper stuck his leg out to stop that going past him. Now, is that Joe Bryan? It is Joe Bryan. Ex-Bristol City at Swansea there, look. Brathenweight to me. Me forward looking for Thompson's found him. Thompson now, can he get the ball inside? He takes a shot and it's gone well wide. A pass into the path of one of the oncoming attackers would have been much better. McCrory with the goal kick. And uh, Swansea pick up the ball in midfield. 38 minutes on the clock. And patiently building up here. Need to be looking to try and thwart them and we have a has got a foot in he's in well what's he gonna do he's gone out wide and the cross comes in but it's heady clear and delap and they're gonna come at us again breath and weight letting him go around him ball comes out shot but blocked by breath and weight sunset bell as we counter it sunset bell Put it away. He has. And Bratham White gets the assist with just 38 minutes turned. Be 39 minutes on the score sheet. But uh, Sunset Bell picking that up in midfield. And, uh, well, he got the keeper out and then tucked it away into the side netting. So maybe we're going to finish our time here at Sheffield Wednesday with a win. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't count our chickens before they've hatched, though. Up to 10th now. And half time comes. And as you'll see, that has really picked us up a little bit. All the way around. Five shots, two on target, 55 XG, 48% of the possession. Let's have a word with them at half time. And we'll be right back for the second half. And you come back for the second half. No changes made on either side at half time. They kick off this second half. They have a corner as the first highlight. Oh, heady clear. Not heady clear, rather. Um, it was flicked back, and Delap really hit that against whoever. But uh, we come forward again. Apaya looks for Thompson. Thompson's flicked that and just a little bit too hard as it was. Yeah, Delap fires that against one of the defenders thankfully we have a throw in me with the throw in to low Everton back to me me with a long ball forward now looking for Sunset Bell he's found him and Sunset Bell could have made this 2-0 and he hasn't Ooh. well we're definitely giving it some go here and we have a corner Thompson breath and wait goalkeeper saves it three attempts there in very quick succession lovely ball forward by me speculative and that's what he can do found Sunset Bell fired away Sunset Bell had a second go at it and uh, another attempt was saved by the goalkeeper so goalkeeper doing his job Sunset Bell to Hunt Hunt to Dabo Darbo back to Bernard. Bernard flicks it in over the top, but it's headed clear and they come back out. Delap now on the counter attack. Need to get in there and he's got the equaliser. Liam Delap 
You can't let him do that. Didn't close him down, give him plenty of space, and punished for it. Here you go. So I think it's Bernard Branthan Wait, who's backpedalling. I really get back and he's fired that across McCrory and back into the mix. Seventy minutes gone, let's have a look. I'm thinking we might actually change this up to a positive mentality now. Um see if we can get a hook in here. Now, I did change it back to one up front. I'm sure I did. But it seems to have dropped back in. So, Apaya not having a good game again. But uh, the choices on the bench are few and far between. Max Thompson again not having a good game. Crory with the ball forward looking for Clarkson Clarkson couldn't tidy up loses out to Bryant and they come forward again and a bit of a tame shot in the end thankfully have a free kick Brantham wait To me, me has given the ball away. Oh, and let Delap in, and there it is. A mistake by me. <sighs> poor, poor ball. What can you say? Oh, dearie, dearie me. Alex Hunt and Low Everton in this midfield role. Slattery on for him. And uh, nothing doing. So from being a goal in front, once again, we've thrown it away. Down to 12th now. And if we get sacked, well, I'm not going to, I don't want to see that again. <sighs> Free kick they've got, make it three. Yep. And if you're going to capitulate, you might as well capitulate, I guess. Maybe it is time to move on. Maybe it's uh, time to look for new ground. Because this is going extremely bad. And I'm not sure the way out. Me with the throw in. Lancaster not getting anywhere near it. And they could have four here if we're not careful. Breath and wait. Get across. Get across. Well tackled. And well tackled by Darbo. And still they come. Ah! McCrory saving that one. Uh, well, what can we do? What can we say? We've tried to change in formation. We've tried to tweak it a little bit. And uh, 
we might need to have a look at the overall thingy of the team. We have a free kick here. Low Everton with the free kick. And it's gone offside given. This ball's headed out for a throw-in, but time is up and it is game over. So the the episode comes to an abrupt end. A losing episode, maybe the last time. That we play for Sheffield Wednesday and is even more possible because the incoming goalkeeper look has been strongly linked with media and the new ball will serve strength and rumours the current manager may be replaced. So looks like next episode we'll be coming back and um looking for a new job, or maybe by the time you come back next time, I will be coming back uh with a new team. I'm not gonna uh, progress through these as it stands. Um, subject to the new manager not taking over, we will come back around about on, um, Brighton and Derby. Brighton and Derby are the two games that we'll be looking to come back for in early December, see where we are and uh, potentially what we need to be doing for the transfer window in January if we are still here. I have a suspicion that the next episode is almost like starting afresh. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with all future episodes of this and new series as they are released. New episodes of To Be A Legend are currently released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. And if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel and more, why not follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on the next episode. Don't miss it because we might be telling you who our new team is that we're going to play f or who we're going to manage going forward. Will it be in the championship? Will it be in League One? Will it be in League Two? Who knows? But stay tuned. Episode 44 of To Be A Legend, wherever we are, will be out on Thursday. Till then, goodbye.